We need to transform the Cartesian equation given by x squared plus y squared equals to a squared into its polar equivalent. So let us begin. Now, we know that whenever we have the x coordinate in terms of its polar form, r and theta, x is given by r times cosine of theta and y is given by r times sine theta. So if we're going to substitute the value of x and y into a given equation, which is x squared plus y squared equals to a squared, in place of x we have r times cosine theta, we're going to square it and then add it to r the square of r times sine theta, so that's equals to a squared. We have r squared cosine squared theta plus r squared sine squared theta, so that's equals to a squared. Now from the first two terms, if we take r squared as the common factor, so this will get multiplied to cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals to a squared. But that's a standard identity, the standard trig identity, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals to 1, which gives us the value r squared equals to a squared. If we take the positive square root, then uh, we have r equals to a. So this is the polar equation and it is equivalent to its Cartesian form which is x squared plus y squared equals to a squared. Now if we want to understand it graphically x squared plus y squared equals to a squared this is the equation of a circle with center 0 comma 0 that means it's going to pass through the origin and it has got a radius of a unit so that's the equation of a circle. Now here all we are given here is r equals to a, r equals to a means that the radius of the circle is a unit and here we are not provided with the information of theta, so that means theta can take any value between 0 and 2 pi, so it's a circle.